G'day folks, welcome back to Cookie's Fish Room. Norm here again with you for another episode. Um, big shout out to Hayley Kent once again for this awesome shirt. I'm really digging it. I'll just flip around so you guys can see what the back says. It's the bomb. <laughs> Thanks heaps Hayley, I love it. And just in case I forget who I am, there it is. So um, yes, thank you very much. Thanks to everybody who's subbed to the channel so far and um, everyone who's joined us on Facebook also. Really appreciate all the support, all the awesome comments and the feedback um, and the questions. So if you haven't subbed yet, jump on, sub to the channel and hit the notifications bell and hopefully uh, I'll get to have a chat to you on Facebook. So today we will be talking about Finrock. This one's a little bit of um, a complex one because it's hard to spot and people get it mixed up with uh, a lot of other diseases. So I will be uh, trying to help you to differentiate between the other diseases and fit rot. So hopefully we can get that sorted and you'll be able to have a fair idea of how to sort, uh, treat it if you do have it. Okay, so how do we know it's fin rot? A lot of the times people mistaken, um, let's say clamped, tails or even bitten nipped fins and tails for fin rot. Um, even col columnaris can be mistaken for fin rot. So there's ways of telling that. Now, to know how to differentiate between columnaris firstly and fin rot is quite simple. With columnaris, the whiting, it will start going white from where the tail joins the actual body of the fish or the fins start to uh, join the actual body. So with fin rot, it normally will start at the edge of the tail or the fin around the edges. With columnaris, it will start at this body side of things. So if you've got it on the body side going white outwards towards the ends of the fin, that's where it's gonna be columnaris around here. But if it's on the edge of the actual fins or the tails, that's where it's gonna be fin rot. So there's not much difference in color, unfortunately but there is um, where it begins and where it finishes is what you need to look out for. Also, with fin rot, one good way of telling it is what it is, is it actually goes like the actual ends of the fins slash tail kind of melt. It becomes very soft looking. Um, when it's a, a nipped situation, it actually looks torn um, like someone's taken a, a piece of paper and torn the tail or the, or the um, fins of the fish, you will get that jagged look. With um, columnaris, oh sorry, with fish rot, it actually melts. It looks like it's actually melting. So, and also it's not only white, it depends on the type of fish, the strain. Um, if it's a guppy, the color sometimes, you can have black edging and that's not uncommon. Another way of telling that it's fin rot is it will clamp up a little bit. Um, normal clamp tails and fins seem to look smooth when they're clamped, but this will have a rough look if it's fin rot. It will look very rough, like someone's taken sandpaper to it. Um, you can also have blood streaks through the tail or the fins. That's another dead giveaway. And I hate using that analogy, dead giveaway, but it is another way of, of telling. You will get some, it's not septicemia, but it's actually fin rot. You'll get some blood streaks through the fins and the tails. Now, uh, fin, what causes fin rot? The biggest cause is bad quality of water. Now, bad quality of water will have different um, stresses on fish and cause different problems, but this one will have bacteria in it that will eat away at these fins and eventually kill your fish. Keep your water parameters pristine, keep your fish happy and you won't have these issues. If your fish is being bullied and fins are being nipped or fins being caught on something and torn, if the water quality is good, you won't have an issue. The tail will repair itself in time there are ways of preventing bacteria taking hold of it, but if your water is bad and you have a fin nipped situation or tail torn situation, you will get fin rot eventually. To avoid this, make sure your water is great, your parameters are spot on, 
always add aquarium salt, no matter even if you have catfish, quarries, plecos, um, plants. The API brand that I use has a dosage chart on the back. I tend to stick to half of the dosage that's recommended, unless I'm treating for a disease, then I'll go full dosage. Gives me that little bit of room up my sleeves. But if you're not treating anything in particular, half the dosage that's recommended is fine. Full dosage is safe. It has been tested by myself and the good folks at API. We, they have no problems with um, putting on something on their packaging that's safe. So you're fine to use that. It won't damage your snails. It won't damage anything in your tank. But again, if you are treating something that is sick, it's preferable to be doing it inside a hospital tank if you're using that much salt, if you have to go full dosage. So that way you have no stress, no worries about your snails and precious other fish or plants. So get that um, aquarium salt in it every time you're doing a water change. It will help fins to heal much, much quicker. So the other thing is, you're probably asking, how do I fix a fin rot situation? What fixes it? So what I've used and what I've tested is Marison 2. That alongside with aquarium salt helps heaps, especially if your water is in great condition. You give this fish a, few, a couple of weeks and you'll start to see new tail being formed or fins. Usually it's a clear color and eventually it does get its color back into it. It will take time. Sometimes it starts off as white, so don't mistake in that for fin rot once again. It is getting better. And um, once everything is healed, I like to put a little bit of Melifix into the tank. That with aquarium salt actually helps build up the good stuff on the, the, the scales of the fish, like its slime coat, and it actually helps the healing process a little bit. So you gotta remember, Melifix doesn't fix the situation despite it saying fixing the snow. It will not fix the fin rot, but it will aid in the healing process once the, good, the bad bacteria is gone and the good bacteria is doing its thing again. With any sort of treatment, be it um, Marison 2, antibiotics, um, anything that you're treating in your tank, please don't forget to dose beneficial bacteria. With anything that you put that's firing into your tank, there's a good chance it will nullify your good bacteria, which will basically crash your um, nitrogen cycle, and you don't want that to happen. That will cause more issues and will take more time to get over the situation. So what I advise and what I use is Nutrifin Cycle. It is the best beneficial bacteria there is out there, I have found. Um, dose that daily while you're treating for with any sort of medication. And don't overuse the medication if you don't need to. Once it is fixed, observe the fish. Let, it, let its body do the natural healing. You don't need to overkill. This is not columnaris, this is not something that, this is not COVID, this will not kill the fish if, if it's under control. Once the bad bacteria is gone and the fish's tail is healing, let it do its thing. The um, Melifix, the aquarium salt will assist it and you will have a much happier tank than if you keep dosing Marison 2 and other um, foreign medications into um, its ecosystem. So. That's it in a nutshell. Hopefully it's, um, it's been uh, useful to you to help fix those fin rod problems. Don't forget to, if you have any doubts, jump on Facebook, post up in Cookie's fish room, put a picture of your fish, it's a problem, and feel free to tag me in it and I'll do my best to give you a hand. And if not, my friendly staff who are well qualified to give you a hand will help you out. Um, I look forward to meeting and seeing you all on Cookie's Fish Room. And if you, again, once, once again, if you haven't subbed yet, please do so. It does help us out a lot. Appreciate everything. Thank you guys for tuning in once more and looking forward to chatting to you next week. Take care. Bye for now.